If you post certain transactions frequently with little to no changes, the recurring journal allows financials to process entries according to your specifications. In the search function, enter the recurring general journal and then choose the relevant link. Fill in the recurring method. This provides the user with an option of adjusting amounts used in the recurring journal. The options can be fixed, variable, balance, or the reversal of these methods. For this demonstration, we will use fixed. The recurring frequency relating to how often the transaction will occur. This can be days, weeks, months, or years. The posting date, the document number, the account type, the account can be a general ledger, vendor, customer, bank account, fixed asset, or intercompany partner. For this example, we will use the general ledger. The account number, for this example, we will use 8240 postage and the amount will be for $100. Our balancing account will be the cash account, 2910. As you can see, the total balance equals zero, so we can now post the journal. A weekly recurring entry of $100 will now be posted, affecting both the cash and postage accounts. Close our journal. Now we will go through reversing transactions. When an incorrect journal is posted, they can be reversed in a corresponding register. Select journals from the upper ribbon. Open the default journal, located in the general journal. Click Ledger Entries from the ribbon. The history of dealings will appear on the page. We will select the packing machine entry and then select Reverse Transactions from the ribbon. Select the specific entries you wish to reverse, then click the Reverse function in the ribbon. Click Yes, click OK. As you can see, Correcting entries have been posted. Close the journals and you're done.